Okay, in this presentation, we're going to look at discrete random variables. Now, this is going to be short enough exercise because it's got one point to it and one point only. Now, so consider a binomial experiment, experiment where the number of independent trials is 10 and the probability of success is not 0.25. Okay, let x, the number, x denote the number of successes in n trials. So the, this is actually really about the sample spaces. Okay, so if you actually discrete random variables like the Poisson and the binomial, they can be a bit hard to crack until you really get the hang of the sample spaces. So what I'm going to do is just adjust this paper here. Okay, do you know what? I will actually just write out the sample space first. I'll just answer question one there straight away. Okay, so the sample space is simply zero. You can have zero successes, one success, two successes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 successes, okay? So that's the number of successes that are possible. There is no possible outcome that is not included in this list with regards to number of, um, uh, number of successes. We have an exhaustive list. We could have zero successes or we could have 10 successes, okay? Or somewhere in between, but we can't have 12 successes, we can't have minus two successes. Everything is covered. Okay, so for each of the vol uh, following events, write out the sample points, okay? So what we have here, the sample space is a collection of sample points, okay? So in this case, the first thing we're going to do is less than or equal to three, okay? So the sample points, I'll just actually call this, so there, sample points. Uh, less than or equal to 3, that is 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay. The next one is greater than 4. Now, that the wording here is very important. Greater than 4, that does not include 4. So we start with 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. Greater than 8. Something very similar, a little bit shorter, 9 and 10. And the number of successes is between 4 and 7 inclusive. Okay, so a bit more clear there. So 4, 5, let's just move that up, 6 and 7. Okay, let's just adjust that there. Okay. So those are the sample points, okay? So it's just actually, it's very important to actually sort of keep that in mind when you're answering questions related to the binomial distribution or also even the Poisson distribution. The only thing about the Poisson distribution is that it has no upper, upper limit. It just keeps going up until infinity, okay? So, um. So by considering the, the relevant sample points from the sample uh, spaces, show that uh, what we have this is uh, what we have it here. Okay, so the probability of x being between four and eight is equal to the probability of x greater than or equal to four minus the probability of x greater than or equal to nine. Okay, so let's just actually start that one up here. I'll just go go to a new page. Okay, so. Let's just look at the sample points. I'll just call this S5. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. OK. So what we have there right now is probability of x greater than or equal to 4. OK. And it's the combined probability of all of those events there. OK. But what happens when we remove 9 and 10? Okay. So let's just move that down a bit. Okay. So what we have left here is the probability of x between 4 and 8. Okay. And altogether what we have there is so just actually just to show that what we have there is a probability the probability of x greater than or equal to 4 in terms of sample points 
it can be broken up as x less uh, less uh, between uh, 4 and 8 inclusive plus the probability of x greater than or equal to 9 okay and so on okay so the other questions work out in a very similar vein but i think actually uh, i'm just going to leave it there that, that you actually can use the same approach to question two uh, question two part two and three the very same way but i think really i just I, i'd be just repeating myself i think once you actually draw out the sample space the question becomes very clear very quickly so we'll leave it there